Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to the Journeyman Europe. I will do next next episode. We'll do an intro where we have a look on the old Google Maps to you know check out the local area, see what the pitch is like, and all that good stuff. Uh, but to be quite frank, I'm knackered because I've had to just plow through three months of just hit and continue because of the winter break. Plus, also my new computer's arrived, so I'm in the process of setting that up, and I've moved all the furniture around in our lounge to make everything fit and cleaning up and oh when you pull out like the tv cabinet that's probably not been moved for about five years and you've got three dogs yeah there's a there was like a solid lump of fur and dust at the back so it was, it was a fun time but i'm knackered right god we've done transfer boys we've done bits after the vilts game we drew with uh etterbrook nil nil then we beat rassing Remember, Burkic, he plays for Racing. And then in the eighth final, uh, Unes, we beat them 3-1. They had three men sent off, <laughs> which is, you know, really nice of it. Or two men, I, I, I can't count. They had a man sent off very early. Omar uh, Rafik got sent off. After they went 1-0 up, I'm sure their manager was very happy with that. So Fluriveri, the old sent uh, mid. There he is, 36 Guadalopian, um, scored. Click on it, click on it. Binsfield, our DM stroke centre-back. And Yuki Toshijakashi, who is our right winger, scored the goals. Done a bunch of friendlies, done a bunch of transfers. Let's take you through. We've also got a couple of joining at the end of the season. So here we are. And we already talked about Dashele and... Uh, mm -hmm. But we also picked up Brad, because after scouting a bit, centre-backs were a bit thin on the ground. We've struggled all, all journeyman so far trying to get good centre-backs. So we know Brad's pretty solid. He's going to be a rotational option. Bought him in. Um, really good physicals and stuff. They only say two-star. I think he's a bit better than that. Some of his mentals are a bit... <sighs> But uh, other than that, he's a solid player on a hefty £40 a week. We've also got Joel Pedro to help fix our central midfield. Again, sh struggle to find players. It was tricky. Um, he's a pretty solid all-rounder. Unspectacular, I don't expect. He's got nine cats. Nine cats? He's got nine cats. Uh, fun fact. Um, he's also got nine caps for Luxembourg, which is cool. Uh, Dashley, we know, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh just one of the best players ever in the game. Me is coming, obviously, as our left winger. He's gonna. I'm gonna play him today, but um, he's 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 got to find his way into the squad. He's not just an automatic walk in. Next up, we have James Ahiba on a free transfer. He is a Ugandan international, hotbed of footballing talent, especially the goalkeepers. Some of the world's greatest goalkeepers come out of Uganda, like. And fucking buy. So we just needed, a, I don't expect him to get a lot of game time, but he's a much better backup and he's on a pay as you play deal. So uh, very happy to bring him in. Um, then we have Yannick Bohr from Unes, Catchy, whatever they're called. Um, he's going to be our new inside forward. He can also play up top. He's actually pretty good. Uh, but he's, we wanted to play an inside forward on the right, and that was the best I could do, to be quite frank. Uh, but he's a very good finisher of the ball. <clears throat> he sort of ish knows the position, which is good enough for me. He's on a hefty 30 quid a week. And finally, we've got Dritro Kelmendi from Fola Esch <clears throat> on loan because we just needed another central midfielder. He's not that great. But I'm quite excited about the couple of guys we, we've got coming in. One sort of youngster that I think is going to be really good, from both from Rossport, William Marquez, um, who is a centre-back, 19-year-old, local lad, 10 under 21 caps. He's on his way for a freebie because, yeah, I'm brilliant at that. Pacey centre-back, good at marking, solid tackling. I think he's going to be a, a, a good addition. So very happy for him to come in at the end of the season. And Alexander Bitterman. Dun, 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 dun. Bitterman. Um, he's a striker, but also probably is, I'm looking to more play him as that inside forward role. So very, very happy. Unfortunately, because we have such a long break and we have to pay people. Fucking paying people. Um, we have gone into a bit of debt. But I'm hoping by the end of the season, so we can't... I did ask for a coaching badge. They said fuck off. So hopefully by the end of the season... With the massive prize money that comes in the Luxembourg National, I don't think it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. If we're looking at, say, optimistically eighth, that's 40 grand. So hopefully that will, will get us close to 
having money in the actual bank. So, yeah, Bitterman's coming in, 25 years old. Uh, he's played a lot of football. He scored a bunch of goals. Look, look, he played in Germany. Has he got any under-21 caps? No, no. Still time to get in the senior squad, though, mate, if you have a good season. <clears throat> right, so... Here's the tactic. The only obvious change is that we've now moved our inside forward in. The rest has gone swimming. We did play Viltz in the preseason. Smash them. 3 0 just for funsy. Oh, they've been doing bits, by the way. So obviously, we stole two centre backs and a left winger off them. They went nuts. Here's, here's where they started signing players. I, was, I already signed these two guys um, that were coming in in January. And then they went on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more players, which is pretty special. Unfortunately, Smiggy still on, doesn't want to come. I'll just check again. Every week I go in, see if he's changed his mind. Um, not everyone hates me now, which is good. Uh, just our best right back hates me. Dashele, meh, and Ahiwa. Um, all, all support me, as you'd expect. Because these, they, those two especially know my greatness. So they understand. They're like, fucking, yeah, they'll, they'll go to war. They'll die for me at this point. Right. So we've got debuts for Bort and Meh today and Dashele. But is it really a debut when you're that good? It's just like slotting in, isn't it? Right. Okay, let's do it. But we are playing, not the best game to come back on. We are playing Doodle Lounge. Um, away from home. And if we look at the league table... They are 11, no, they are nine points clear at the top of the table after, with the game in hand over second. Yeah, after 15 games. Yeah, and it did say we we faced the impossible. So I'm not expecting a massive run of results. Uh, or that's not just, just one game, isn't it? Um, a massive result. Vilts are doing well before the break. We'll see how they do with all their 600 new players. Right. Yeah, whatever, whatever, it's whatever's auto number for the win, boys. Yannick Bohr, it's number 33. Let's hope he charges the opposition. <laughs> right, come on, boys. It's good to see, have me back, isn't it? I'm loving that. Here we go. I'll take a draw. We're going to play how we play because I want to see longer term how this tactic is going to work and stuff. So, even though maybe better off to go a bit more counter attacking, is we're gonna we're gonna show them what for. Right, Agovic, lovely cross from the right back. Right, poker. No, Basic. No. Oh, it was. It's not Dashley, is it? No, good, good. <laughs> I thought he might have given away a stupid penalty on his debut. It's fine. Come on, Sean. Come on. Yes. Powerful hands. That's what they. That's what they say about him. Powerful hands. That'll do, boys. We needed that because that was only ten minutes in. Right, fifty-five percent possession. It's all going okay so far against the top team. No poker. Good tackle. <gasps> what? How on earth was that a penalty? Oh, he's done it again. He's plugged that one out for the top corner. How was that on earth the penalty? Referee, how much? How much did it cost to buy you, referee? <laughs> he clearly got the ball away. Like, easily. There was no question. Oh, my fucking hell. Okay, John O'Shade all over the place. Settle down, lads. Yeah, settle down. <clears throat> Another corner. Right. Okay. Jesus, don't. <laughs> that almost happened in slow motion. Let... <laughs> Let's just say the excitement of his of his debut playing for under me once again has just got he got too excited about it. Um. <clears throat> okay, no, no, it's fine. I'm not even going to make a sub because we just... All over the pot. Okay, no, you're going to stay as an advanced. Um, okay. It's going to be tricky now, lads, got to be honest. And it was such an unnecessary two-footed scissor kick, wasn't it? Some would say all two-footed scissor kicks are unnecessary. But, yeah... 
It's a tackle he didn't need to make. <laughs> oh dear, that was amazing. All right, not the best free kick I've ever seen, Bachelet. <clears throat> Just getting his eye in. It's because the other players aren't used to his skills yet, so. All right, Bernadelli. Plays it down the left wing. We haven't, we haven't got any left wingers, mate. He got sent off. Yeah, have a look. Just, you know, I don't want to teach you how to show you how to play football, but. Okay. Are we going to finish with 10 men here? I feel like there's more sendings off to be had. Okay, Bernadelli. Fleur. I'm just going to call him Fleur. That's a good ball to the right back. Cuts inside, plays it with his left foot. Oh, it's lovely. Mick Jagger. Come on. Get in there. What a cross from Latterza. A Mick, Yag Mick, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger pops one in. He's actually pretty decent. That's the joys of having a two-footed right back there. That's a lovely ball just over the head. Cuts it back inside. Job done. One nil up slightly against the run of play. Tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Well. Hmm. Don't know what to make of this, lads. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hold on, but it good, gives us a good chance of a draw. Let's just say well done. The goalkeeper saved two penalties. He's on an 8.2. He'll probably finish on a 6 because that's how goalkeepers work in this game. Um, don't really have that many. No, no, let's go. They got us in this position. <clears throat> it's like, do we go more defensive? Block it, boys. Block it. Always got a... Chance of the counter attack. We could go three centre mids. I suppose that would make the most sense. But we do want to provide some sort of goal threat. Good tackle. No. Back post. Oh, great. Is the crossbar? Sean had it covered, though, to be fair. Guy's a bloody ninja. <clears throat> do we change it do we change it yes injury no poker oh Sean makes the save come on um yeah Kel Mendy's coming on slot in there you kind of kind of shit at everything aren't you to be honest if in doubt, shit at everything. Central midfielder support. Just be slightly shit at everything. And that'll be fine. Um, I think the rest... And we'll put you on support, I think. That's it. That's it. We're still going to play the high line. Still going to play the press. They're going to score. Oh, no. They're not going to score from that corner because it wasn't even good enough to show. 15 minutes left. This is, this is going to be... This is heroic. We've had one shot on target. Oh, ten minutes left. Close him down. Close him down. No, oh, Dashley, header away. Keep I oh, he's so unlucky. He made another save. And Doodleange have finally got the breakthrough. Oh, he's had such a good game. Old Sean... He's, he's Sean, if you know. El Hajj Diouf playing as a centre back for Dude Lange. Come on, boys. Oh, I, I feel bad. This last 10 minutes is going to be disgusting. Don't, don't score another one now. Because if they score again now, it could end up like 4 5 1. <laughs> yes, good block. I thought it was going to be another penalty. Not that they matter because Sean just doesn't let Penn Dashley good header away. Yeah, here we go. Counter attack. Yeah. Okay, what you got? What you got, Saws? Okay. Go on, Mickey. Go on, Mickey. Go on, Mickey. Penalty. Yes. Who's taking pens? Mick Jagger's taking pens. Come on. Come on, Jagger. <laughs> oh, calm as you like. Go on, Mickey Jags. Another brace. He's got a brace on his. On our first game, didn't he? He's doing bits, my friends. He's doing bits, and suddenly we're only gone gone two one up, aren't we? 
looking for a third. Let's put it beyond doubt. Fleur. Oh, that's old man. <clears throat> okay, that's, that's dangerous. D -d dangerous. Oh, Sean. You let me down there, mate. You've let me down there. You did the whole <laughs> goalkeeping effort there. It's two all. I'll take it. I'll take it, lads. I I don't like that, those sort of kits. With the, it looks like they've won a beauty contest. You got second place in a beauty contest. Collect ten pounds from each player. Good tackle. Right there we go, my friend. That is not bad against top of the table, away from home. Ten men for most of the game. Bloody marvelous. We're gonna let me have that one. Right, I'm gonna find him. Obviously, he's, he's a knobhead, but. Yeah, he, is, he got excited. It was his debut. He was raring to go. And, you know, sometimes you two-footed scissor kick somebody when you're excited. It's happened to me in the supermarket when I found a half-priced pizza. So, it's all just... Uh, oh, I can't actually find him. That's fine. Unbeaten run. Yeah, since I took over, we have been unbeaten. That's just how I roll, as you guys know. Right, there we go. We're still in the relegation spots, but I think we've got a good enough squad to come out of it. We'll play a few games, see how we're getting on. Uh, we've got the quarter final, uh, not the eighth final. It's not the, this isn't the ninth final, it's, this is now the quarter final of the cup coming up. So we might come back for then and the end, rend, rest of the season. Unless it's like a relegation dogfight. Oh, imagine if Vilt relegated us. I could be, some would argue that's karma. But we will try our best. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support on this series. It's been amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.